this thing. This, uh, uh, ain't no place for, for a lady at the moment, Mum. They, they, they've gone completely mental in there. I'm here to speak with Dr. Verloc. The workers are, um, a, a tad cross with Dr. V, Miss Big. Uh, he's barricaded himself up in his office and he won't come out until we give him the all clear. Your very own uprising. Can you get it sorted? Not to worry, ma'am. We'll put down these troublemakers uh, as soon as we can get in. They've uh, cut the power. Now oh, listen. Guys. This labor action is important. We ain't striking for a nice hot lunch. Like last time? Shut up, Ronnie. Maybe they will be too distracted by their little riot to see me slip through there. And we can't, as those who are in charge have gone completely off their trolley. Dr. B's failure to ensure the joy supply strikes at the very heart of our Looking for lootable stuffs first before we uh, head up there. Um, okay. I don't necessarily agree with what just happened there. But I guess that was to help me find that medicated bomb I missed. We've still got the upper hand, lads. Our shop steward's got a key card. The only way they're getting on the floor is through him. I'd like to see him try and take it away from him. Oh. Well, he's a so friend, isn't he? Going down there for that is on our side. Oh, yeah, I do need to go down there, huh? So I have to turn the uh, thing. Go! Oh, ah! Yeah. Ah! Possible ways forward. You know what? I bet you this loops to the right. It does. Production report. Internal use only October 2nd, 1964. Some path. Some pa blah, 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 some batches in proper English that were tested. Most failed, but there was two that passed. Do not bother me with any more of the spurious results. Any impurities are certainly due to contaminated samples, most likely as a result of sloppiness on the part of your staff. Please reassign the technician responsible to the pool of coconut volunteers. Do need no need for any further sampling. Uh, any more testing is a waste of time. Proceed with mixing the next batches. Do not share this report. AV. Anton Verloc. There's everything in here. I don't think stealth is going to be too prevalent, so I think I'll go for the weapons thing next. <clears throat> Maybe I won't, though. Once I get up to six, I'll take a look at what it's offered. anything over there besides glass bottles I'm already up to like 17 glass bottles should be ridiculous we got a healing bomb though <laughs> nice keep sun. your eyes on the doors lad nobody in spot. or out and nobody disturbs my siesta. No wonder Verloc's locked himself away. With that brute skulking around. That guy's big. If I can get the power back on, the bobbies will get things sorted. Then maybe Tony Verloc will come out of hiding.
I don't see any way around not coming down. Requires power, but there's a uh, an upgrade thing in there. It's over there dancing. Well, they certainly don't have faith in Verloc. Maybe I shouldn't have trusted him. Instead of entering open combat, which I think isn't a bad idea, I could definitely handle it. I'll stick to the top side. Drop down here. Explosives? You want your trolley? All these chemicals flying around? You'll light up the whole factory! Yeah, you gotta find out of his office then. I feel like you definitely could jump up there. That's one power switch. One to go. We're at five now, so I just wanted to take a look. Shove off is meh. Disarming is definitely prevalent. Silent step, maybe, yeah. Soft landing, don't interrupt. Oh, shush. None of these really pop to me, except for obviously strong arm, which we got. I probably will still go for disarming. Just to make fights a little bit safer for myself. Don't fuck that up, huh? Should have just went for the jump. Like I planned to. We're gonna assume that they don't know where I'm at. And they really don't. List of the bands. Joy workers of the world unite. The following are following are our list of non-negotiable demands. Removal of Anton Verloc from his position of leadership at Hayworth Labs. Installation of Sally Boyle in his place. Swift completion and deployment of the Coconut Joy project. No more slowdowns. No more ex uh, experimentation on our relations with the bad batches. No more bad batches full stop. An additional tea break on Friday afternoons. Negotiable. Scones do uh, no more than 50% sawdust. Oh my god. Sign the Joy Workers Collective, Harold Stutler, Secretary. I think we'll save up for these two next. Silent Step and Soft Landing.
They're all running around. I gotta be careful. Shit like that. If I have to fight them, I'll fight them. It's not a big deal. I said this probably doesn't go anywhere anyway. This probably just loops down to the bottom. Naturally so. It is safer for me to keep continuing up here. Unfortunately, there's not really a way to continue going up on this side. However, I do want to press that button and see what will happen. An elevator. Okay. Wasn't expecting that, not gonna lie. higher up though. There's that platform I thought I could jump up to, which I probably could have. 100%, I'm not fully convinced they couldn't otherwise. Oh, that's very, very, very far down indeed. That's a big drop. <laughs> so fuck this up then. Possibly just two, which isn't too bad. Three guys, it's a good thing I checked. How do I get up? Excuse me, game? Oh, there we go. Crouch, which makes sense. Anybody in here? Doesn't look like it. Very good for me. So that's the switch I gotta pull. Apply phrenology. Where did I pick this up? October 10th, 1960, from the desk of Harry Hayworth, uh, Hayworth Labs. Dear Anton, uh, am enclosing the latest draft of the paper I was telling you about Friday, at, uh, Friday last. Have made much progress, and I greatly anticipate showing it to the committee. Any input would be most welcome. I really think I am on to something here. Really appreciate all your encouragement. Harry. Towards a Theory and Practice of Applied Phrenology by Harry Hayworth. Phrenological sciences of the 19th century theorized that the brain was formed of various growths, each representing a different human trait. Benevolence, combativeness, wit, hope, etc. These sub-organs would press against the skull, forming measurable exterior protrusions. Applied phrenology inverts the normal phrenological, phrenological method. It proposes that modern technology could actively reshape the organ responsible for, say, happiness, producing a feeling of contentment not unlike our joy formula, and all without the ever-increasing shortages that have been bedeviling our supply chain. I have taken the liberty of applying my prototype technique to five of the assistants in my lab already. Although they are still recovering from the process and are still unable to communicate, I am happy to report that two of them appear to be grinning widely. Progress. Dr. Harry Hayworth, Hayworth Labs. That's scary. Okay. What is my escape route? I need one once it turns on. There's really no way up. That is bothersome. Seriously? Front, okay. It is what it is. 
When oh, all shit. this is done, Tony Verloc and I are going to have a little chat about management principles. Whoa, fucking Catwoman. One guy to turn around. Uh. Not okay. I do know where we are. There was a door up here I wanted to hit. Go there first. Two, need one more. I gotta get across this room. jumped off on accident. That would have sucked. I don't actually think there's anything down below. I think I want to go in there. I'm trying to figure out where I want to go anyway, so where I need to go. I don't know which one is the shop steward. Obviously a door I missed somewhere. Yeah, you can totally skip the elevator there. Just start smacking some hose then. That's the room I just came out of. I don't need anything else from. That basically clears the side. There's the power room. I gotta find the shop steward. Boiler room, which we 
cleared. Don't know what that room actually is supposed to be, but we cleared this room. Listen here, Andre the Giant. How do I dodge? You never taught me how to dodge. Well, how the I died in the game's like, by the way, this is how you beat him. back here, huh? I don't know what all I have to redo. So I do have to go get that other one again. This isn't bad. Like, I mean, it's on the way. <clears throat> so we'll want to clear this room out before we start that fight. That way I don't have to deal with any we other bullshit. <laughs> The fact that I can disarm him is actually just really funny to begin with, right? Because that makes him less lethal as it is. And again, the game didn't tell me how to dodge. So. Almost dead. Anyway. Ned Andrews. Rip. Take no chance, his legs. If they burn down his leg, his curtains for our entire civilization. Attention, attention. The constabulary is pleased to report that the beautification efforts here for taking place on these air premises have concluded satisfactorily. You may resume your regular course of workday activities. Off you go. Off you go. Well, it ends well, Doctor V. No need to thank us. Miss Bing, it's been too long. You seem to be having a bit of a mutiny. <laughs> oh, they do that. Not to worry, everything is very well in hand. Very promising lines of research. All sorts of. I hope they haven't had one of your bad batches. Oh, you're rather. Well informed? I can't just think faster, Miss Bing. I work until every thought is rubbish, and then I try to sleep. If... 
If I had Sally Boyle back... I seriously doubt my father would return her to you. I swear, I am this close to a permanent solution. But even if it doesn't work, at some point, you know, we'll be down to a sustainable population. That certainly is a permanent solution. There's no food coming over the bridge, and we're not growing any. So how many of us are sustainable, Tony? You seem a bit... off. You know, a bit sad. He wants to lock you up. I've got a lovely pygmy. Tony, I'm not someone you can throw into a cell like poor Mad Harry. Yes, well. Please, go back and tell the executive committee I'll have a brilliant new formula presently. He, he won't ever have, have a solution, will he? Didn't you hear him? When enough people die, the rest will have food. Oh, you've got to get people off these ridiculous pills. I'll never convince father of that. Oh, forget your damn father. It's a miracle he hasn't already run for the hills. He's just lost hope. Everyone's let him down. You can't lead if no one will follow. I have to prove to him that people will be reasonable once they come off their joy. But they won't do it willingly. Some of your father's soldiers became addicted to opium. Punishing them was no use. So he locked them up until they weren't addicted anymore. Yes. I could cut off the joy to the whole island. All I have to do is shut down its allocator hub. Because that's not going to call Then Father will see panic. people can come to their senses. One island? Huh. I have never found half measures to be useful. They only make the oppressor angry. That's the attitude that got you sent to prison. That's the attitude that got me a country. What have you got? Oh snap. All right, let's get out of here. We've done enough. Miss Doc. Bing, Dr. V would like you to come back. It's the water system. Those old pipes are contaminating the joy, you see. He's got some blueprints to show you. That's a load Some of other shit. time, perhaps. We won't take no for an answer. Stop her! Stop me! <laughs> 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 I'll be going now. If anything jumps out of this elevator, I swear, I'm gonna smash it. Damn it! It's after dark. The bobbies won't care whose daughter I am if I'm breaking curfew. I'd be more worried about the doctors. That man is desperate. He'll send every man he's got. Doctors will now attack us on sight. Cool. We have some competition. However, doctors there. Uh, I'm pretty much up for time anyways. Is there a way to get in there? Eh. There is. It's just not noticeably noticeable. Alright. This looks like a really good place to stop. So, like I said, I'm up for time anyways. I'm going to stop it here. When we come back, we will continue on uh, with Victoria Bink's story. I'm really liking this one. It is a little bit different. It's more of a adventure style uh, game. It almost comes back to what We Happy Few was, but in a 
in a smaller aspect. So I, I'm looking forward to this. But in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and say comment down below and subscribe, share as well. If you know, thank you guys for watching us later. Bye.